And hello YouTube, this is GS Man with Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for tutorials with GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Audacity, the free audio editing and recording software. And today I want to show you how to record your microphone when you're talking, as well as your speakers, which is what you hear in your headphones. There is a way to record both your voice and the audio from your speakers at the same time. Now, I highly recommend that if you have another way of recording it, such as Fraps, which is a screen recorder, it, that, that allows you to record both your, your uh, speakers and your um, voice. Or if you have something like um, OBS, which allows you to record both speakers and microphone also, I suggest you do that. Um, and the only reason why I would think you would want to record your speakers and your voice is because you're doing some type of commentary or you're doing some type of let's play. And honestly, if you're doing that, you should be recording your audio with your video together um, because it's a lot less of a hassle. However, there is a way to do it on Audacity. And even though I, re even though I don't recommend doing it, um, if you have a mixer, if you have an external mixer, if you have a, uh, a high tier uh, sound card, then you're actually able to record in multi-track, which means that you're able to record your speakers in one channel and your uh, mic in another channel. But for the most part, most of you, like me, probably don't have a very high tech advanced sound card and you probably don't have an external mixer. So, we're going to show you the most basic way of recording your audio and your microphone at the same time. Now, please be aware, this is sort of a weird method. It's like a workaround method. There's no real way to do it in Audacity. But I've gotten so many requests for this video that I thought, okay, I'll find a way to do it. And I'll show you guys. So, just be aware. Bear with me if, it, if the audio starts getting weird a little bit. But the first step is to find your speaker icon, which is the bottom here, and right-click it. And click Recording Devices. Now, when you have this open, you'll see you have several inputs here. You may have stereo mix, you may not have stereo mix. Now, I made, a, I made a tutorial on how to record your speakers only. If you want to check that tutorial out, it, all, it involves a stereo mix. But for this, you don't need stereo mix. It's better if you have stereo mix because you'll run into a lot less problems. But if you don't have it, there's another way to do it. Just follow these steps though. If you want to check if you have stereo mix, you want to right click the white area here and make sure that Chill Disabled Devices and Disconnected Devices is clicked and make sure you're under the Recording tab here. Now you'll see here that I'm using the Blue Yeti microphone right here. However, if you don't have an external microphone like this, you're probably only gonna see these two options or you're only gonna see one option was your internal microphone. This is my internal microphone right here. Now what you wanna do is right click whatever microphone you're using. If you're using your internal, right click the internal. If you're using your external, right click the external. The options are the same. So cl right click it and click properties. Once you've done that, find the listen tab. In the listen tab, click listen to this device. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and press this button just in a bit because I wanna show you what other things you need to do. Because once I press this button, I think you're gonna hear like double, like you're gonna hear my voice double because you're gonna hear it from the uh, speakers as well and it's gonna be kinda weird. So I'm gonna leave it to the end. But make sure you have this clicked right here. Listen to this device. Now after that, you want to go to Advanced tab. Now the Advanced tab here, m most of the time you want to keep it at 16 bits and, and at 44100 hertz. But the important thing is to make sure that this matches Audacity's sample rate. If you want to see your sample rate, you can look at the bottom left corner of Audacity here and you see it matches. If these two numbers don't match, Audacity will not be able to record in stereo mix. Uh, it won't be able to work basically. So make sure that this number matches to this number. Once you have that done, you can click OK. After that, if you have stereo mix, you want to make sure you have it enabled. There is a way to disable it, but make sure it's enabled. If you have it enabled, then you're good to go. After that, we can go and close this window here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and right click the, well not right click, regular left click the microphone here. Next to the microphone button, there's a little drop down menu, and you want to click Stereo Mix. Mine's at the bottom here. When you click Stereo Mix, you'll actually be able to record whatever is heard on your computer. Whatever you're hearing on your computer, this is what it's going to record. 
And because we checkmarked listen to this device on your microphone, your speakers are going to pick up your voice and you're going to hear your voice in your headphones. Now, if you don't like the idea that you're hearing your voice in your headphones, um, that's why I was saying you may want to use something like Fraps or OBS where you don't have that issue. Now, once you have that done, you can go ahead and start recording and you'll basically record your voice and you'll record whatever is being played on your computer. I'll show you guys in a second. If you don't have Stereo Mix, you want to click this left box right here and make sure you click Windows WAS. Now, I believe this is Windows WASAP. Uh, it's kind of cut off here, but I think that's what it is. But just find this option here. And once you have that option, you'll be able to click your speakers in the microphone section here. So here are my speakers, Realtek. You can click that and then you can record as well. And you'll basically be recording whatever is on your uh, whatever's on your computer playing and your voice. So I'm going to go ahead and keep mine the way it was and make sure that I have stereo mix selected. And I'm going to go ahead and click listen to this device and I'm going to um, basically start. I'll, I'll find a video that I produced before on YouTube in my videos folder and I'll let it play and then I'll also talk and you'll hear that we're recording both. Now be aware it may sound weird. I may You may hear my voice double because that's just how this works. So bear with me. Give me a second. Okay, okay actually, actually we're, we're going, going to record, record uh, the, the game, game that, that I have open, open in the background. background. And, and as you can see, my voice is sort of doubled right, right now because I have, have listened to the device check. check. But let's, let's go, go ahead, ahead and click record. record. Stereo, Stereo mix. We're, we're ready to go. Click record. record and we should be recording our voice and the game audio that you're going to hear right now. So let's check if it works. Click to record. All right, we're, we're still, still talking. talking. Let's drop, drop some, some fireballs. fireballs. Up. All right. Now, now let me get, get rid of this, of this annoying, annoying double, double voice. voice. And now we listen to this. All right, we're still talking. Let's drop some fireballs. All right. As you can see, we have successfully recorded both the game audio, which is coming from your computer, and your voice. Now, if you if you notice that your microphone's a bit too loud, you can always go back to recording devices, and you can always right-click the microphone that you're using, head over to the Levels tab, and you can adjust the microphone volume accordingly. You have to do it from here, because even though Audacity has a microphone uh, volume control here, it's only controlling stereo mix, not your actual microphone. So you have to adjust your microphone volume from here, from the levels tab. After that, you can just click OK, close it up again, and you can start recording. Now, the same thing works with if you're using Windows WASAP, or whatever this is, the Windows WAS, it's cut off like I said. Same thing for this. If you click this, and you don't have stereo mix, if we click speakers here, I'll do it again so you guys can see that this version works as well recording devices listen to this device let's, let's record, record. As, as we see, see we're, we're talking. talking we have game audio from the speakers and let's, let's take, take a listen. listen as we see we're talking So there you have it. Even with the Windows WAS over here, if you don't have Stereo Mix, it works as well. So just as efficiently as the uh, if you're recording from Stereo Mix. That's pretty much the tutorial. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. I know a lot of you guys wanted to know how to do this. And uh, hopefully it answered that question that you guys have had. If you haven't subscribed, you go ahead and subscribe. We have plenty of other Audacity tutorials, as well as other software tutorials, such as Photoshop, GIMP, design tutorials, computer tutorials, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, any questions, comments, confusions, problems you may run into, uh, go ahead and leave in the comments section below. I'll try to help you if you run into a problem, try to answer all the questions. But um, that'll be for this video.
Thank you for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment below as well and give some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well. And I usually try my best to answer those comments within the next 24 to 48 hours, depending on how busy I am. I also have plenty of other content on my channel about different gaming tutorials, as well as general gaming videos for Guild Wars 2, League of Legends, Minecraft, and any others that you may be interested in. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out and if you like what you see you can subscribe too would really appreciate it you can also check out my other channels and social medias that show on the screen right now and with that thank you so much everyone and this is GS Man Smart and I'll be back sooner than you think don't go anywhere